A champ is born. The year is 2006. The place, Kikui Hospital, Dogoto. It's a few minutes after midnight. On the 9th of December, a champion is born. Morrison Mwadulo and Mary Wangari Gyoshe welcome a little human being into this world. His name, Joseph Mwadulo Mwagogo. Weighing 3.8 kgs at birth. Joe was a typical bouncing baby boy. His beautiful eyes, chubby cheeks, a naive smile brought joy, purpose, and happiness to his parents' life. Joe was a sweet boy from birth, staying true to his name, Mwadulo, which means beehive. A great name that he shares with Joseph. Stamp grows. A flower to his parents, a gem to He was a brave, charming, and lovable boy. Joe was caring and very accommodating. Mom's fondest moments was when Joe, at three years, dragged her to their neighbor's house to check on a baby who was intensely crying. She remembers Joe rushing towards the little girl, comforting her. This was Joe, the selfless, caring boy. Just like any other growing boy, Joe was adventurous, playful, and curious. He had his moments, like when he was stuck on top of a tree while harvesting the neighbor's mangoes and had to fight a dog. Chelsea remembers when he would hide underwater at the swimming pool, then prank his friends by touching their feet. He was so full of life, so full of energy. He was so glad when he got a baby brother, Jeremy. He became Jeremy's basketball coach and protector. Jeremy might have lost a tooth in the process, but hey, who's counting? Joe was a true big brother. A champ goes to church. If train up a child in the way he should grow, and when he is old he will not depart from it, was an example, it would be Joe. He loved God and was not afraid of declaring it. He was a leader and an achiever, even from a young age. Abby remembers their moments at the Word of Life camp, a Bible camp that he frequently attended during the school holidays. She remembers how active he was in memory verse competitions, his participation during Bible Hour, how loved he was by everyone, and his great interest in basketball at the camp. Michael, his counselor at the camp, remembers how passionate and dedicated Joe was. In the last camp of, two, of 2023, Joe was crowned the best camper, a title he still holds. He was looking forward to the April 2024 camp, as well as the Form 4 Leavers Word of Life, Diani camp at the end of the year. He also wanted to become a counselor at the same camp after clearing school. A champ conquers all fields. Joe's parents are both artists. Apart from playing a few small acting roles in church, he paved a different path for himself, that of active sports. He was an all-rounded champion who left a lasting mark in everything he touched. Dulo, as his friends call him, could perfectly play the trumpet in the school's band. He could play the drums and the melody. He could swim effortlessly and was also an excellent gamer. He was a winger and a good one at that. His favorite team was the Blues, Chelsea. He loved Manchester United and was always bantering Norman and his other manual friends. I'm sure the April 4th game between Chelsea and Manchester United would have been one of his best moments this year. His goat in football was CR7, Cristiano Ronaldo. Basketball. This was his other great love. He was a shooting guard. To put, in, to put it in perspective, He was an assistant captain in his school's basketball team. That's how good Dulo was on the pitch. Basketball brought so much joy to him. In return, Dulo used the same game to impact the lives of others. He was a trainer, a young coach, and a great encourager of many. He once came across a 22-year-old boy who was drowning into drugs while trying to, while trying to deal with grief. Introduced him to basketball and trained him. The boy has... in class rankings. His time at Kyurum, 
Kyoro Msingi Bora Nursery School and the Green Garden School were some of his parents' proudest moments. One of his longest friends, Melvin, remembers how great a person he was in primary school. His favorite subjects were geography, CRE, and Kiswahili. He was a darling to the teachers and students, participated in almost all the activities, clubs, and still maintained an excellent performance. For his secondary education, Joe joined Chavakali High School, some 390 kilometers away from home. The distance did not deter him from being the best in class or leading in the field. His charm followed him all the way to Chavakali. His liveliness and charisma will remain engraved in the lives of his friends. Their thoughtful Friday podcast meetings, their entertainment moments at the school, their time on the field, their remain time at, the sc at school will not be the same again. Joe wanted to pursue aviation, to either become an air traffic controller, ATC, or a pilot. His spirit is on, fly Joe, fly. A champ departs. 17 years, 3 months, and 29 days from the day Joe was born, he breathed his last. On the first day of April 2024, through a road accident, a flower was plucked from us. Some of Dulo's last moments on earth was us with Norman, telling Mwita to send him the exam's timetable, bantering his other friends who were uh, to leave the next day and securing his back left seat on the fateful Easy Coach bus. What if they didn't travel at night? What if the plans... The plans